the difference between Lake and Meester and Mika Kelly? Well, one, Lake and Meester has been confused with, with dating Derek Jeter, but she hasn't lied and said she is because she's not. Mika Kelly has, on the other hand, lied and said she was, and she is not also. Um, another difference is that Lake and Meester was voted um, number 53 on the Ask Men um, Sexy Woman uh, or the Most Desirable Woman, and Mika Kelly was voted 99. Now, this is after getting the fake title, full title of Sexiest Woman Alive or something like that. And guess what? When you get rewards that are not real, and they are because you lied. Like she said, she was getting married in November 2010 to Marcus Lee and it didn't happen. But she got rewarded, and it's not really reward because it's 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 kind of um now a folly, like a, a something that's really foolish now that they gave it to her because she didn't get married. They were giving it to her in October because they thought she was getting married in November. When November rolled around, everybody put it in their thumbs like, oh, do Homer Simpson. You know, but anyway, it didn't happen. So, so Lake Meester, Lake Meester, um, people think well of Lake Meester on her own. Lake Meester, um, you know, without being um, public about trying to say she's with somebody, whatever, she's getting, you know, roles and she's doing well. She's a good actress, great actress. To me, she looks like she can really pull some things off um, if they give her the parts and let her, you know, do her stuff. And give her what she needs to use because the talent is there. Um, but um, that's just the, the sad part that, um, you know, even though now um, Mika Kelly is with um, John Mayer, if being with him does not propel her to stardom, like before being with him, it didn't really um, change her scenery that much. So she was still not getting off of the park and she still wasn't getting noticed as much as when she has been hanging around you know, my sweetheart. So I think that she's trying to make that friendship look like it's more so, and it's not even a friendship. She's trying to make it look like it's more um, acquaintance or, you know, like in Hollywood, everybody is everybody's friend. You're right. Nobody's really, you know, some people know each other and stuff like that. But it's like, it's business. So you know somebody, people take photographs, you're seeing around other people in the business. You know, and so it just, it's like at a party, you take pictures with anybody. You, some people don't even care. You're around certain places. You're in photograph with different people, but some people will act like it's a major thing, and some people will, you know, use their own stardom and, and their own talent to propel them. Well, she is taking advantage of the fact that she's been in the company of, you know, my sweetheart, and so, you know, like Lake Misa has been around, you know, my sweetheart, and a lot of people have been in his company, have are even in pictures. I mean, there are crazy pictures of him with all kinds of people. You know, like it's just pictures. And when I mean crazy, I, that's just a euphemism. I mean a lot. Like, you know, I, in, in slang, you know, I speak slang. But it's like a lot. Like, there's so many pictures out there. There's so many references. That I, I saw a reference of him with Leighton Meester. And, you know, it, I, and, I, and it's a lot of references. There are different sites that have them there. And the dates go back. You know, I can actually, I mean, somebody can actually pull some of the references for um, him and Leighton Meester. And they can run with it and say, oh, they've been together for this certain amount of time. Well, you would still have to verify with him because now people can pull up something and say, hey, he's been with Leighton Meester for all the time. Well, guess what? No, it, it's not true. But it, it's um, good to, to see, you know, that, you know, it's, you know, it's, I, I guess that people are making a mistake, you know, and it's not, you know, some of it is not necessarily intentional. But there are some people who take advantage of it. Like some people might see two people together and assume they are an item. But you don't write that they're an item. You, do, you can't do that. So that's one of the problems. And with Lake Misa, she doesn't try to pretend like I'm with him. You know, when it, she, didn't, she didn't do that. One person did, but she didn't do that. She, um, you know, Minky Kelly tried to parlay it into some success. But the only problem is that you still have to act 
you can go on the show, you can do this, you can do that. When it boils down to you have to act. When a paper, the paper is put before you and you have to read off of the paper, you have to be able to convey the emotion. Now, if people see you walking with John Mayer and you're dating him, so that means now they want to see you on TV because they saw you with John Mayer and you accept that that's what you want. Like, that's appalling to me. That's really appalling. It's like, if I'm going to do something, I don't want you to, to want to come see me because you saw me walking with somebody that has talent. I want you to say, hey, she has talent, and I want to see that. Not because you think I'm with somebody or not. That, no, never mind. If you're the type of fan person that wants to see what I do because of me being with Derek or me being with somebody, no thank you. That's not even, I'm not even interested. But if you're interested in something that you've heard of or seen and you want to look at it, then by all means, I invite you all. You know, I invite you to look and enjoy it but that's so belittling to you know someone that the only reason why someone is interested in seeing their work is because they think somebody is betting them that's like you know i thought we moved out of those days where women were looked upon as just pieces of meat now there's someone you know with a smile on their face taking off their clothes and saying let's go back no thank you but in my opinion, Lake Misa is more of a class act. As far as professionalism with work, what she's doing is she's using her talent. She's, you know, she's a, a pretty girl, so that goes without saying. You know, if you look at her, people are going to say she's beautiful. So initially she may get some things because of her look, but that that can't hold it. You know, she um, has talent. And um, that's the one thing that uh, Minka Kelly is lacking. Talent. So she's using publicity and newspaper articles and, and different things like that in order to get publicity. And she wants to keep mentioning, you know, someone's name that's famous. And apparently John Mayer, even though she's with him, it's not helping her career. So now she's going to try to use an acquaintanceship with, you know, Derek because his, you know, when he's in the news, like with, you know, when people's name is around him, I guess they get a second look, which is crazy. Because when I got my 5 million plus views for my site, that was not because of him at all. And um, the 5 million views I got, I, I made sure, I purposely went another route to um, have, get the 5 million views. And so when the views did come in, I, um, it was not because of the fact that of him, because where I went to, um, to show off the, um, stuff had nothing to do with him and it was, it was, um, a success and, you know, I did it, you know, a different way. I didn't say, hey, look at, look at me standing next to him. Now come see the fight. That's ugly. That's like, you're basically, she's saying she's so pathetic that she needs to be seen with John, somebody, even if it, even if they're not dating, you know, even if there's nothing going on, they're just hanging out. She's gonna make sure the cameras are there every time so that they can say, "Hey, give her a role, give her, um, you know, a, a title, a sexy." Guess what? You know, even ass men, they were, they were like scratching their heads and wondering, like be for real, you know, at the fact that they didn't agree that <laughs> she should have the sex with woman alive. Now, guess what? Ask men. Now, when we're speaking about sexy as far as women, you would be asking men because I'm a woman. I look at, I can see certain women are nice looking, whatever, but I'm not looking at them for sex appeal. But guess what? When you ask men, the ask men, they're, they are basically saying, we don't agree. We don't know who you talking to but basically I guess out of you know like duty now because since she was on a list the year before I guess out of duty they put her on the 2011 list but they put her at 99 it's almost like it's so obligatory that you can see it begrudgingly that they put her on there it's like saying there are women in in the world walking around um you know there there's a woman out there so be Based on the fact that they're a woman, a guy is gonna, you know, say, hey, you know, that's a woman. Like, men, you know, they are interested in women, you know, for the most part. The 
And so if they see a woman, you know, good looking or not, it's a woman. So men are interested in the thing. So in that sense, she's, you know, she's supposed to be female. Ooh, she looks rough sometimes. I don't know. Ooh. But, um, so she's supposed to be female. And so it's like it's almost obligatory because since they put her on a list, you know, we, and they made her sexiest, whatever. So now we have to put her on this ass men list. And because people are linking her to, you know, someone who, you know, my star is hot. Derek is very hot. He is foxy. So because he is such, I guess they feel obligated to put her on the list. But you don't have to feel obligated. She's not with him. She's getting things on the premise that she's with him. She's not with him. She's with John Mayer. She was with John Mayer on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2011. If you know the pictures and stuff that they've been floating is not from Valentine's Day. It was actually published like before. Um, and so it's not even from Valentine's Day. It was a fake and a phony and some kind of decoy so that she can get roles and get buzz for her TV shows, pilots or whatever. And the thing is that you still have to act. You still have to be a good actor. Now, late from Easter, she's getting the buzz and it's only because of her acting. And who, if she's dating someone, the buzz never outweighs her acting and the fact that she's you know, doing her show and whatever. It's about her. People are interested in her. And that's one thing that I would think is, is great. You know, if you're going to be in the business, you want people to be interested. Like, hey, I'm here. Don't, don't, don't be all wondering like, oh, are you with somebody famous? What the heck is that? You know, I mean, he's great. He's wonderful. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a person. You're not going to be coming up to me to say, oh, hey, are you with someone who's famous? And, oh, yeah, hot. How is it like to be? Oh, well, wait a minute. If I'm doing something that's notable and, and it's worthy of you wanting to interview me, shouldn't we be talking about that? And it shouldn't turn into about me being with somebody famous. And so it's like you can tell that she, you that lets you know right there that there, it's, there's nothing there. She's not with him. The only thing that she has seen, she's seen a media gold mine. She's seen something that, hey, this is working in the media. I can get roles. I can get opportunities. The only thing is you get the opportunity and you fall flat on your face. It's like a flat line. You get the opportunity, you sit in front of the camera, and you can't act. Late Misa knows what to do in front of the camera. She knows how to act. She's good. You know, and... Um, I hope that she gets all the opportunities that she deserves so she can show forth her acting shop. And, you know, they pick out some of the right roles for her. So now she's done some different roles that you can see a kind of spectrum of what she can do. You can see her in a different light. So when these directors and producers are out there looking, they can now look at her in a different light and they can see where they can, you know, ask of her to do certain things because you've seen her in different lights. Whether or not she had quality help with the person that she was working with because if she's working with someone who's not up to her level it's kind of hard to really feed off of somebody else and, and make a scene great but you can see if there's a spark there and late needs to have that spark so anyway that's it for you know this one it's just the difference between the two is glaring it's so you know one is talented one is not one is beautiful the other is just uh, fraud. She's as phony as the title that she got. Her title was gotten because people thought she was getting married in November 2010. Well, she didn't get married in November 2010. She became Miss Null, N-U-L-L, November. That's what. So, I'll talk to you guys later, and it's still Sharon Leslie Jr.